This has been an ongoing uh, power struggle between, for anybody who hasn't caught up with this, there are basically people that are called localizers that are effectively cultural translators for anime. And then what they do is they change the meaning of different things that are said to mean something totally different to make it congruent with their worldview. They're basically so bad at their job that they become good at doing another job. <sighs> So this, it just keeps going on. Let's hear what they have to say. Today we have another round of localizer related drama to cover. This week there's been a big spotlight on localizers <laughs> and their history of mistranslations. And as more evidence of these mistranslations has been spread on places like Twitter, localizers yeah. and their supporters have been getting increasingly nervous. In fact, there's a lot of evidence floating around that shows that these localizers not only have no respect for anime and manga, they don't even have respect for their own fans, and that'll be highlighted- Well, I think that's obvious, right? I mean, they don't have respect for anything except for pushing their worldview. That's all they care about. In a clip that we'll watch later in this video, where a voice actor for the mm -hmm. infamously bad Dragon Maid localization will be confronted with a question about- This Dragon Maid about show has a lot of problems, huh? Your response to that will to be call anyone who finds mistranslations to be bad uh, they'll call them a virgin and oh. a Nazi and a misogynist and that right. they are not welcome in the anime community. Yes, it is some wild stuff. We'll see in a, just a let's bit see here. It. But let's remind ourselves how we got here. A quick recap of everything. So about a week ago, the ancient Magus's Bride manga returned with an English release that used AI translations. This got a lot of localizers very upset mm -hmm. because they're starting to face the possibility that they will lose their job to AI. And as well, I, it's not a possibility, it's an eventuality. Like, this will happen. I pointed out in my coverage of this, uh, we're dealing with a situation where AI is not the ideal form of translation, but nobody mm -hmm. is going to feel bad for these localizers who might lose their job as a result because they have abused their position as a translator for many, many years and mocked people who are trying to point out over this course of time. And basically, they're somebody brings up a very good point in chat. They say if you expel virgins, Nazis, and misogynists from anime, there's going to be no one left to buy it. What they deserve. And I've covered <sighs> in videos like this. There's been a, a lot of conversation uh -huh. about this over the past week. And in videos like this, oh, I yeah. point out this example of a bad localization. Bro, I remember whenever I saw this, I straight up thought this shit was fake. I was like, there's no way they changed this shit over like this. There's no shot. And I remember, I, even whenever I heard it, I was like, yeah, but did somebody just like make this up or is this the legit thing? Like, I just couldn't believe it, man. Now, there's dozens of these types of examples I yeah. can give, but I always use this screenshot when I'm talking about it's the worst localization. One, it's one of the worst because ones I've it seen. is the most blatant and egregious yeah. bad localization you can ever see. Everyone sees this pesky patriarchal societal demands quote here, mm -hmm. and everyone knows this is incredibly forced and it's just a bad localization. It's easy to digest for people. So that's why I always use this yep. example. And other people uh -oh. would come across this and talk yep. a lot about that mistranslation in particular because Asmongold would react to my video. I did. And probably not much of a surprise, he's on board. He thinks that what these localizer, localizers are doing is very wrong and that these people are legit clowns. But I Well, they're just, yeah, they're clowns. That's what they are. They're just, they're getting in there. They're trying to abuse their position to do something that they're not being paid to do. Yeah was appreciative that he reacted to that particular video yeah. because I think it gives a little more of a side of the internet that maybe hasn't been exposed to this sort of stuff. Like, Asmongold and his community has definitely warmed up to VTubers and anime in general a lot over the past couple of years. But one thing is definitely for sure, okay. his audience is not as familiar with anime and manga as an audience like mine, for example. And we've been talking about these bad localizations. Well, that's true. Like, I didn't even know this shit was happening. Like, I had no idea about any of this. And then I hear about it, and I'm, I'm, I'm listening to this bullshit, and it's like, I, I feel like I'm a crazy person just listening to it. How is it even real? It, it's just, it's, it's all sus, yes, it's very weird, man. And it's like, I, I, I taking over? Well, yeah, I mean, obviously, as I said, guys, 
I watched a bad anime 10 years ago, or like probably 13 years ago, and it made me stop watching anime for 10 years. I totally stopped. Because before then, I was in like the anime club in high school. Uh, I watched Full Metal Alchemist, Ghost in the Shell back in the day. And I totally stopped. Which one? I don't remember. It was like Bleach or like Naruto or something. I just didn't like it. I was like, this is cringe. And uh, then I just stopped. Yeah, I just totally watched it. Or I totally stopped watching it. Yeah, I did. I'm sorry. I thought it was so bad. I don't remember which one it was. I, I don't remember. I don't want to say. I, I think it was actually Bleach. I'm pretty sure it wasn't Naruto. And so I watch it. And I'm like, this is horrible. I hate this. And the only thing that brought me back into watching anime was Berserk. Like, I saw it on Netflix. And I watched it. And I was like, what the fuck? This is so good. This is awesome. What the fuck? I didn't know about this. Now I quit Bleach 2, start off good. Yeah, that's it. It's for a very long time, but people like Asmongold and a lot of his fans, yeah. they're not really aware of this stuff. So when he came across the Dragon Maid localization, for example, I didn't believe it was that so shit. outrageous to him. Yeah. He literally didn't believe it was real. No. Until he found out that yes, it is very real and his reaction is priceless. So basically, yeah. we have a, oh, God. A, a translation of oh, a scene God. from this Kobayashi's Dragon Maid, where Luqua is basically saying, I wanted to wear something different so people wouldn't look at me. Yeah. And in the localization, it says, oh, those pesky patriarchal societal demands were getting on my nerves. No, wait, that's great. Or what? Is this true? You can find the clip on YouTube. Coming. Hey. What are you wearing that for? Oh, those pesky patriarchal societal demands were getting on my nerves. So I changed clothes. Give it a week, they'll be begging you to change back. Huh? You can come on in if you want. Huh? And this is like real, right? I still like this is it, this. it's it's like I I refuse I, to fucking believe it. That's I just awful. Couldn't. Like what? How did that how did that happen? Now, in case you didn't notice earlier, that was I, Funimation's dub. That was their localization of Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid. I couldn't believe this, bro. Like, I couldn't believe this. Like, that's just... Which one? Is... Yeah, it's real. Yeah, like, what the fuck? It's so disrespectful to the artist and her fan. These people need to be fired. Yeah, true. And with that, you can easily find out the voice actors responsible for delivering those lines and uh -huh. the person responsible for delivering that. Oh, 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 the voice actors who delivered the line are not responsible. They're paid to read lines. It's the people that write down the lines for them to read. Those are the ones that are responsible. The actual voice actor is just like, Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Was that one good? Okay, I'll do it again. One, two, and there it is. They just do their fucking job. Pesky patriarchal she did both? demand line. Oh, she did both in this circumstance. Well, that's different then. Then that's different. Jamie Marchie. And if you look at her bio, you can see she was responsible for doing the dub of Lukla in that series. And here's the thing. Uh, well, Quetzalcoatl. That's the Aztec serpent god. All right. Okay. As she will hint at in tweets we're going to look at later in this video, not only For does sure. she approve of those She's lines, a hot girl now? She makes it sound right? like she was the one responsible for making those changes and coming up with that dialogue. Oh, that's dialogue. big boob dragon. So now she's faced with right. a situation where people know that she's the one responsible for that dub. Uh -huh. And a lot of people have been criticizing her on Twitter. Yeah. And unfortunately for her, a clip has resurfaced that's not making her look the best. So thanks to this user for sharing this clip on Twitter. This is a Q&A yeah, of the My Hero Academia cast, which of mm -hmm. course includes Jamie because she voiced one of the characters from that dub. And basically, this clip is, as they say, beyond human comprehension. The things she's going to say in response to a simple question about mistranslations will blow your mind. So let's have a listen together. This was crazy to me. Well, uh, I'm kind of scared to ask this question now because they don't want to bring them in the room. Um, so uh -oh. okay. this is more directed at Jamie, but all of you can answer. Go, Jamie, go. I'm excited like about it. I'm ready to bring down the room. Let's do we it. Need um, a yep. So Funimation has come under, let's call it, criticism oh, for how they choose to adapt their scripts oh, for like a couple of shows. Hate. Yeah, got it. Yeah. So you can see immediately playing the victim and deflecting any sort yeah. of criticism. So 
They're being asked about Funimation facing criticism for what will be mistranslations, mm -hmm. and she immediately characterizes this criticism as unnecessary hate. Um, and a lot of that, I feel oh, like yeah, and she, yeah, I mean, this is just how they, how they do things. Did it you unfairly? Thank and, you. Uh, <laughs> So how, how would you like to respond to that kind it's of thing? It's audio of the video. I can't turn it up. I have a vagina. Deal with it. <laughs> how do you respond to people, your customers and fans, being upset about mistranslations? Her response is, I have a vagina. Deal with it. I feel like they're going to sell that on a cup or something, like a cis male tears or something like that. Yeah. But yeah, that's her response to... Well, they Why had a cup like that in Starfield, actually. I remember this. Guys providing the this crass transit. response. It's just like, how do you, how do you do something like this, and not think that you're a fucking idiot? Like that, that's what's always so amazing to me. It's like, how do you, like, you know, it's like, ah, good job, boys. Another, another job well done. Relations. This is literally a skit in South Park, by the way. Like, this is line for line, bar for bar, yep. a skit from a previous South Park episode. But let's continue. <laughs> like, it's honestly, that's the truth. Mm -hmm. I am a woman. I am a funny woman. We are all talented, funny, powerful women. I, Just, I've got to say, like, you know, th uh, this always reminds me, like, whenever the first time I, I heard this, I thought about, remember the Tywin Lannister, a man who has to say he's king is no king? That's the first fucking thing I thought of. I was like, ah, I see what's going on here. It's like anything else, you know, in life, when someone says, I'm a good person, when they have to keep telling oh, you yeah. I'm a good person, oh, that oh, yeah. tends to be not the case, right? Like, they're overcompensating. If of someone course. has to tell you they're funny like this, I'm so I funny. don't know. It, it's, it's showing some insecurity. But again, yeah. in case this wasn't abundantly clear, none of this has to do with the fact that Jamie is a woman. None of this has to do with any of these people's gender. It's about yeah. bad translations. People are not mad because you're a woman. They're mad because you delivered one of the most embarrassing localizations of all time. And people you support are actively... Well, here's also the problem, right? Is that it actively makes everything else that she does, even retroactively, sus. It makes everybody think, wait, so if they were able to change the meaning of this, then what about all the other stuff that she worked on? Is that the same thing? And it completely, like, it's it's like, a, remember back in like PUBG, where like you guys ever played PUBG whenever it came out, like you would fight against somebody and like there were so many cheaters in the game, you would just assume that anybody who killed you was cheating. It's like, oh, they're probably cheating. Yeah, th this is, it's the same thing, right? It, sh it, it puts a shadow of doubt on the whole game. And this is, uh, it does the same thing with this. Rainbow Six? Oh, I thought they do win trading a lot in that game. But uh, yeah, they probably cheat too. Hiding mistranslations of other works in anime and manga. That's what people uh -huh. are upset about. Not the fact that you're a woman. That is a <laughs> deflection of blame. She's just a wolf. You're out here, it's going to happen. Deal with it. I'm sorry you're not getting laid. It's not about you. Move on. This is literally like a meme format. You're, you're facing criticism and you immediately dismiss your criticism it's, because the people are bro, hurt. like they actually think this shit's gonna work. It's uh, bringing the argument to emotions upset her, and you lose by default. Yeah, it's just it's so bad. I I, I know, man. It's crazy. Like right now, I'm, I'm a married work is man. Bad. It's because my I don't woman. like these localizations. Yeah. I don't like these mistranslations. Now what? Are you gonna have like a blue screen in your brain or something? Like did I I I crash the simulation? Yeah. This this is such a petty and ridiculous response to. Valid criticism. That's my reaction. All right. All right. Wow. Crowds cool. clapping though for some reason. Well, of course they're clapping. There's a lot of people that agree with this stuff. Yeah. And who do you think goes to see these people? Well, the people that agree with them. What a surprise. You go to a Trump rally, there's a lot of people that like Trump. You go to a Biden rally. Well, I could make a joke about that, but you go to a Biden rally, 
and there's a lot of people that like Biden. What a surprise. Guy, by the way, you can tell he went up with an actual loaded question and he got basically bullied into softening the question yeah. because he didn't want to be humiliated in front of a live audience by these voice actors. <laughs> Anybody else have anything to add? To I think no? you nailed it. Okay, great. <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank you for thank allowing you. me to say that. Amazing. Simply amazing. Hello. You get a lot of hate on the How brave. How brave. Oh my god, it's ridiculous. I'm and, sorry, I but also like she just told me that happened. Oh, yeah, we'll talk about it later. But here's my feeling. Anytime I make like if I'm making massage, He's, this guy's like, oh shit. So like, should I go sit down or is she just going to keep going or like what? Like, should I ask my question or like, would I just stand here until she's dying? I, I don't know. Like, what, what do I do? <laughs> like, misogynists and Nazis angry, then I'm doing all right. Uh huh. She's so predictable. So predictable. Ladies and gentlemen, is it? Supporting Nazis, Nazi, are that's you right. a Nazi, Nazi for wanting proper translations? <laughs> that's right, guys. Bro, how fucking stupid do you have to be? The Nazis? Like, what is this? What's wrong with these people? In anime and manga, does oh that my make God. you a Nazi or a bigot? Oh my God. I, imagine watering down those terms so much to the point... Or something like Nazi means wanting Luqua from Dragon Maid to not talk about pesky patriarchal society, societal demand. That's what's so crazy to me about this. It's like, I said this earlier, like the Nazis genocided millions of people, right? And it wasn't just the Jews, it was tons of people. They, bro, they loved killing people. They did it all the time. And then you know what they did? They made uh, fucking uh, furniture out of their skin. They made lampshades out of people's skin. They made soap out of their fat. It's like, this is like, it, it's so insane to me that people have any, like, like the scale of this. It's like you're comparing changing a word in a fucking, some bullshit Coomer anime to, to, to Nazis? And that's not even mentioning them bombing other countries. Blitzkrieg, where did that word come from? Oh, go look it up. Holy shit, it's insane. The, 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 the level of, uh... The, 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 the just, like, level of delusion that these people have. I don't know, it's, it's, it's amazing. Like, come on. <laughs> I mean, honestly, mm -hmm. we don't want them associated with our fandom. They are not representative of us, and they will stand out and try to own this fandom. And I'm like, you don't realize these are amazing people with lots of backgrounds and lots of different They're cultures. funny. They're so amazing and funny. We're so amazing and funny. We're so amazing. They are literally gatekeeping you now. They want to gatekeep you out of the anime community because you want accurate uh -huh. translations. This is what they're doing. They're so insecure about their own mistakes that they literally want to push out people from a community they have no right to be a part of at this point. Because well, this is one point that you always have to look at is that these people, whenever you say, I don't think this translation makes sense, and then say, and then they're like, okay, Nazi, they never disagreed with you. They never actually, like, addressed what you said. They're just trying to, like, ah, oh, well, you know, it's just, it, it's, you know, let's not talk about this guy. And that's why, like, do you remember, like, whenever I was talking, I was complaining about, uh, like, Retail WoW, and I was saying, like, I think Retail WoW is, like, problematic. And then there were a lot of people who were like, yeah, but he's so bad at the game. But he's so bad, though. But he bad. But he bad at game. But there was never a point where... They actually addressed what I said because they can. not I think that people will refute your argument if they can. If it's if it's easy for people to refute your argument, they will refute your argument. The only time that people result to just like calling somebody an idiot or something like that, or like saying that you're a Nazi, it's because they can't refute the argument. 
Because there are things like, um, I'm trying to think of an example. Uh, remember that one guy that he he was complaining that the, about health inspections for restaurants? Well, there were people calling him idiots, but most people were like, well, what are you going to do then? Not only do they not respect the source material, they don't have any respect uh -huh. for anime and manga fans in general. And I think this not. clip is getting a lot of attention because of how absurd Jamie is. Like, yeah. this is an absolutely embarrassing response to a very it's simple question and set of criticism. So after seeing that clip, I went to go find her Twitter, and lo and behold, I'm blocked. Which is not surprising because I'm blocked by basically every localizer and anyone who supports their mistranslations. But nonetheless, over the past 24 hours or so, she has been on a rampage on Twitter. Basically oh. responding to anyone criticizing her oh, for that Q&A oh, oh. or her bad localizations or anything that she's been involved with. Where she's trying to paint a picture that everyone who criticizes her is soft or a snowflake or sensitive. You'll see some replies like this. This person brought up the Q&A and they said, I don't see how replying to comments on my own posts could That's be right considered here. bullying. But I'm sorry you're so sensitive about it. And then this person said, it's again, right? It gets back into, oh, you're so sensitive. This woman's 46 years old, and she's acting like she's four to six years old. It's sad. As imagine spending years of your life fuming over a single line from that Dragon Maid anime, then in the same breath, mm -hmm. being a part of the crowd that unironically calls other people snowflakes, and of course she agrees to that. That part. Again, shifting the narrative like, where is this happening at all? And spending it's not years of your life fuming over a single line from Dragon Maid anime and then in the same breath being part of the crowd that unironically calls other people snowflakes. And this is what these people try to do. They try to change things and then act like it's not a big deal that they change them and you're stupid for caring about it. So like they want to do something that you don't like and then call you stupid because you don't like it. Like, people are spending years of their life thinking about this. Nobody's spending years of their life thinking about this. They're like, oh, that's stupid, and, and move on. That's it. And the truth is, yeah, they cared enough to change it. They're, of course, they, the people that care more than anyone are these people. Because they're the ones that are changing it. Nobody else g gave a shit about it at all. The fact that you're stupid because you're a Nazi? Well, what you have to understand is, again, like I said this earlier, um, whenever she means Nazi, she's actually just abbreviating like, it's, it's not you're a Nazi from Germany, you're not seeing her point of view. That's what she means whenever you're a Nazi. That's the internet version of Nazi, is that you're not seeing her point of view, or not seeing their point of view. Not just one example, there's dozens of examples of bad localizations people are pointing out. People are just focusing mm -hmm. on the Dragon Maid one because it's that egregious and it's that blatantly bad. But here's another exchange where basically people bring up the Q&A mm -hmm. once again, where Jamie replies, Why would I know anything about that? I don't pay attention to rage baiters. I just get the rage from the suckers who took the bait. Which I it's guess... Again, it's never about what they said. It's never about the actual topic. Do you know why they don't defend the actual topic? It's because they can't defend the actual topic. Because they know they're wrong. Here she's trying to say that the, the localization of Dragon Maid was just a joke or to rage bait people, but then uh -huh. she's saying here that she doesn't pay attention to rage baiters. It's very confusing. And then down here she just dismisses anyone trying to criticize her as ragey, which isn't uh -huh. that what she said she's trying to do? You seem pretty She doesn't make a lot me. of sense, ladies and gentlemen. Clearly she's very bothered by all of this. And she's trying to act like she's... Yeah, I mean, if you're... The thing is, like, obviously she's bothered by it, and it's okay that she's bothered by it. I think it would make sense that she's bothered by it. Naturally, she would be. Why can't we just have a conversation about whether this is good or not? Why does it have to be personal? ...period everyone, and that this is all either a joke, but also serious, but also not serious. It's just a mm -hmm. deflection, okay? She's caught with a bad localization of Dragon Maid, and there's nothing else to it. She looks silly for her job voicing that character. But again, trying to brush this off as a joke or something, she would decide to quote retweet this tweet from 2019, yeah. saying for those who maybe forgot. Triple dog. It says, 
just remember, remember what I always tell you guys about how people who use the triple dot are mad on the internet. Like I said this before, like anybody that uses that, you know that they're agitated. That like their agitation level is like directly correlated with the amount of dots that they put after their words. Oh yeah. Remember, if there are any line changes in any anime, any script, anything ever that offend anyone who unironically use terms like SJW and feminist mm -hmm. agenda, I wrote them. Yep. So basically, you're admitting to providing bad localizations, and you're also confirming that you intentionally did that to the Dragon Maid dub? Of course. Yeah, I don't think this makes you look very good. It. This might get some high fives from localizers. It might get high fives from other idiots. Other morons. But, like, this is really what the... This is the reality, right? So... Localizing is part of localizing from what I've read and you know I've I've gathered from being part of now this this situation is that localizing and localizers translate not the words specifically oftentimes you know that that is also the case in some cases at least um but they're translating the meaning because there are things that just like, you know, for example, a rising tide floats all boats. Um, a bird in a hand is worth two, is worth two in the bush. Um, sometimes you get it, sometimes you get God. It is what it is. All of these terms are like, like phrases and like cultural memes, basically. And the problem is that these people are taking their hyper niche culture of like this like everything is viewed through the lens of like feminism or an agenda or like some sort of message the patriarchy and they're extrapolating that into something that's being given to a mass audience so they could be right that like this is what we believe it to be but these people don't have the self-awareness to realize that their worldview isn't the same as everybody else's I'll give you an example. I don't like gambling. I'm in the minority. People fucking love to gamble. They absolutely love gambling. And I can't believe it. Why are you doing it? Well, I don't know, but they do it. Uh, people smoke cigarettes. Why would you smoke a cigarette? That just seems like a bad idea. So what happens is like, but I know and I'm aware that I am not the majority. So whenever I, I, I can have my own viewpoint, right? But I'm not going to try to do something. And I'm not, I would not make cigarettes illegal. I would not make gambling illegal. Because I know that that's not what people want. Even though I think that would be better for them. But people have a right to, to, to enjoy what they want to enjoy. To, to do what they want to do. And to participate in what they want to participate in. And so what they're doing is they're taking their niche culture... And trying to make it out as if this is the culture for the entire internet. They're basically forcing their culture, their localization, that is, again, very, very like a small percentage of the actual people that, that are watching actually care about this. And they're trying to push it on everybody. Other voice actors, but your fans and potential fans of works that mm -hmm. you want to be a part of, they are not happy to see this. They're annoyed by this. And it's disrespectful to the source material. It's not their content. And it's disrespectful yeah. to the anime community and any fans involved with it. This is a terrible look. I don't understand why these localizers and voice actors and their supporters are doing this. They look childish. Who would mm -hmm. want to work with people like this who have such an attitude towards their own medium and Just, the people that consume it? Somebody, but, somebody says this in the chat. Um, what's this here? I'll make sure I read it again. Let's not pretend a popular culture doesn't affect the world's opinion subliminally. Of course it does. Of course it affects people's opinions. That's why they do it. Why would they do it if it didn't work? That's the entire point of them doing it, is they want to, they want to control the means of communication so they can use those means to communicate and get people to think what they want. And that wouldn't work if, if it wasn't effective. But anyways, that's going to do it for this video. Another yeah. round of localizer drama, ladies and gentlemen. But yeah, uh, please feel free to share all of your thoughts about today's topics in the comment section down below. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time. Here's the thing, guys. 
I know people like this love to cry and bitch and complain that they're getting called out for this kind of stuff. But here's the funny thing. It's not going to stop. You're going to keep getting called out. Oh, well, I'm a woman. Okay, well, that's not going to work. Like, nobody gives a fuck. Nobody cares. This isn't going to, like, trick anybody into uh, agreeing with you. It's just not going to happen anymore. I'm sorry to say. 